Now on to the final part of our entire title project. So in this chapter project here, you will have created your very first AutoCAD model and drawing sheets. Open up your project file if you don't have it open already, and let's begin. We've created our model, all of our line work is done, and now we need to create our paper space tabs. That way we have actual drawings. Now we have one set up here already, it's called Dimension, and you can see here it doesn't quite show everything exactly the way we want it to. Well that's okay. Double click inside the viewport. Make sure it's unlocked. And let's move this to about the center. And I want the scale to be at one quarter inch equals a foot. If it isn't, click on the little arrow here, find the one quarter equals a foot, and select it. And then center this item right here. And once that's set up, make sure to lock your viewport. That way we won't accidentally zoom in and out. Okay, so let's come out of this, double click somewhere outside of that viewport so it is no longer activated. We're going to add a little bit of information to our title block. Now our title block isn't set up as an annotated text or anything, which is okay. We're just going to type it in. Go to the text layer. And we just want to keep this pretty simple. Go to our annotate tab and let's change our styles. Let's go to title. Start the M text command, pick this point here, stretch it across, and enter in movie house. That's pretty simple. Now let's select this and edit the text again, and let's make sure that we are center justified. I'm going to select everything and go to our center justification. There we go. So now our movie house is centered. Let's copy this text. I'm going to turn off my ortho. I'm going to put this right here, press enter, double click to edit it, control A to select everything and type in the number one. I'm going to shrink down this box just so it's a little bit different and not as big and bulky. And I'm going to put this as sheet number one and somewhere in the center of this. Now we need to enter in the date and the scale. So instead of the title, let's go down to our notes so our text isn't as large. Let's use text and type in today's date, whatever it may be for you. Now I want to enter in the scale. I'm going to use the same type of text. And this is one quarter of an inch equals one foot. Now you can see here the text automatically did a stacking for the fraction for me, and that's fine for me. If you don't like that, you can change it, whatever it needs to do for you. All right, that's the basic start of this. It looks like I accidentally copied something over here, which happens from time to time. I'm going to erase it. Now we are ready to start dimensioning this page. Before we do though, I want to create a second layout page. So we're gonna go down here to dimension, right click, say move or copy. Select the create a copy, click okay. So now we have two pages. We have a dimension and we have a dimension two. Let's rename this dimension two. So right click on the paper space tab and call this overall. All right, so now we have two potential drawings that we're going to use. Move over here, double click on the text, go to the end, type in overall. And we'll keep this as drawing number one. The date and scale are exactly the same. So double click inside this viewport. I don't want to show the footing. Let's go to the home tab. Layers panel, click on the snowflake here for freeze, select that line, press enter, then double click outside here somewhere else. And that's fantastic. So now we have an overall view. We're going to put in a few dimensions. Let's switch to our dimension layer. Go to our annotation tab and click on our dimensions, but I want to make sure our arc project is what we have set up. It's there. Click on our dimensions. We're just going to insert a few dimensions. Click this point. We're going to come down to the bottom here and put it right there. Let's start another dimension. Click here and here. And we're going to put in our dimension right there. Now click on the continue and we're going to drop that in right there. And that's good. 
It kind of comes over the top of this, but that's all right. We need one more dimension. We're going to come here and here for this other wall. I've got a little bit of that. Make sure you don't snap to it. Zoom out. And there. So you see how I'm working in here. I'm zooming in and out, panning back and forth constantly while I'm working inside my drawing and executing other commands. Now, I don't really like this here, so I'm going to select this and this one as well. And I'm going to grab that grip and stretch them both all the way up to the top all at the exact same time. Press escape to let go of it. And there are some overall dimensions for our drawing. 